Hello, this is Chris Hammond with ChrisDoc.com. Welcome back to our DNN 9 video series. In this video, I'm going to show you about some updates that you need to make if you uh, run the latest Visual Studio Community 2017 updates. Uh, what I found is after running those updates, when I tried to open up my, my scan or my theme project in Visual Studio, it didn't open. So I'm going to walk you through the process of correcting that so that you can still load your themes and I assume you probably will have the same problem with your modules and other extensions that use the web application project model. Now I have not tested to see if this also impacts our MVC modules as well. It may or may not. Um, a little bit about the prerequisites. We assume that you already have Visual Studio 2017 installed and we assume that you have already ran the updates. Now if you haven't done that, go ahead and load up your Windows machine, go to the start menu and type in Visual Studio Installer and run any update options that you have available there. Now after that, we're gonna go ahead and uh, we'll open up the project or the solution for our extension, in this case, our theme. And I'll show you what it looks like when that project doesn't load completely or correctly. And then we'll show you how we can get around that or, and correct this by reloading the project and then following the prompts there within Visual Studio. And then at the end, we'll make sure that the project opens. Let me go ahead and switch over here to my Visual Studio environment. So I'm going to switch into Visual Studio Community Edition 2017. Now, I am loading that as an administrator, as I always do when I'm working within my DNN extensions. And I'm going to go ahead and click on the recent option to load my sample theme project or the solution as well. So over on the right side in the Solution Explorer, you can see the solution at the top and then the sample theme project. You can see it's currently unavailable. So if we go ahead and right click on that and either choose the reload or the install mission features option, I'm gonna choose reload. What we're gonna find is that we don't have the appropriate tools to in open up our project. So we'll go ahead and reload it and believe that actually corrects our issue. So let's just double check. The way I'm going to do that is by closing Visual Studio. I'm going to open it up again. And at this point, I'm going to just once again, try to load my solution. And we see that the project opens up within that solution uh, without any further uh, issues. So uh, we went ahead and we kind of let Visual Studio do its thing. It installed those missing tools and the project file opens correctly now. So let's go ahead and close the solution. Let's just double check a couple other things. I'm going to try to load my sample module, which I created in earlier videos in this series. We can see that the sample module opens correctly as well. And if we go ahead and close the solution, let's just finally check that sample MVC module, which I had also previously created. And if we go ahead and load that, we can see that everything loads properly here within Visual Studio 2017. So it's just a quick video on how to get things up and running again after you install the latest updates here for Visual Studio 2017. In our next video in the series, we're gonna go into just some of the basics within skins or themes in DNN. So you have a better understanding of how you can start to modify and control the look and feel of your DNN website. This has been Chris Hammond with ChrisDoc.com. Thanks for watching the video.